Tommy, perhaps a frustrating one. I mean, we've got an early lead, lots of chances, but couldn't quite get past. And perhaps because of their keeper, who did turn out a sensational performance in fairness. Yeah, he to did. Him. He's got to, he's got to be given huge credit. That said, the amount of chances and the kind of chances we had, I felt, you know, we should have been we should have put the game to bed in the first half. But I mean, I've got to be I've got to be pleased because I was quite scared into the lads um, after the game on Friday. And they, they gave me a really good reaction. You know, they've obviously lived right between then and now. It's not a long time. Um, and we've come out of the traps and we've actually scored before the time Maiden had scored mm. against us. The, the disappointing thing, and it's a frustrating thing, I, wish, I should say, is we didn't build on it. You know, I thought the first 15 or 20 minutes, our shape, our patterns of play, our decisions, our choices, everything we did was really good. And then maybe it's one or two just, you know, like the spotlight a little bit more than the others. And... and I've said it before, said it in there before, I've never said it on camera, but average teams, you know, play play with each other, but elite teams play for each other. And I think, you know, just on occasions in the last couple of weeks, one or two people have thought themselves maybe a little bit higher than this situation, and they're not, you know, and they've been told that. Um, in the right way, you know, at the end of the day, I, they deserve all the accolades in the world for turning from where we were when I stood here last year at about this time with you um, to where we are now. But you don't get a medal for that you know that's your job we, we've improved because we do things slightly different that's it we do things different but we've got to keep going the best thing about being a footballer is there's another game to remedy anything that you didn't do quite so well so our next game is Hartlepool we've got our eyes on that some good saves from Geordie as well we mentioned their keeper as well. mm -hmm. it's important to say that Geordie pulled off a fantastic save at least one um, to, to keep us in it too and mm -hmm. in fairness to Dorkin they weren't completely out of it were they they did no, no. create their chances yeah yeah. yeah yeah. listen you've got to give got to give them credit for managing to stem the fact that we didn't go on and put them mm -hmm. to bed in the first half most of that in fairness was the goalkeeper and our errant finish you know our, our choice in the in the final third where it's either a cross or another pass or another pass because I like the, to, you know to make the, make the chance it's best Lauren's the best example the, the, the chance he created for or gave Josh Barrett almost certainly it's going to be a goal I just think the other chances that we had attempts at the goalies made fantastic saves but they're from difficult positions the shots coming from um, that was my frustration but like I said we've managed to keep the the two losses in the in the column out that you know we've reacted from getting really royally beat the other day um, and the players might feel I was a little bit harsh after the game, but I don't think I was. If they want to, they want to. I don't want to just be, you know, better than what we were last season. I want to be better and better and better again, again, again. And I want to keep going. I've got my foot on the accelerator, and if any of them want to get out the car, they can. You know, I've got no problem with that. I'll, I want, I want some blokes to stand up, as young as they are, because they are a young group. As young as they are, they need to just grow a little bit taller, a little bit stronger, and fight. But the two games we've had over this Easter period, with all due respect, are against teams who aren't full-time. But they didn't look any less fit than us, and less, less strong than us. So, you know, some of them have got to take a look in the mirror and, and, uh, and be a little bit more honest with themselves. Perhaps a little bit of frustration after this bank holiday weekend from the two results, but I think if we take a step back and we see that there was almost 4,000 shots here today in the crowd, we're in a better place as a club than we were. <laughs> we're moving forward, aren't we? And it's been a great season and we can definitely get back on that, that, that roller coaster ride upwards, as we keep saying. Well, yeah, I mean, like I said, roller coasters do all sorts. They go up, down, round about and upside down. And at the end of the day, it, you don't know what the end result is until you get to the end of the season. All I will say is I'd, I'd be really, you know, I'd be gutted for the lads if they don't keep going as we have done for the vast majority of the season. And we've only shown it in little spells in the last week or two weeks. And, and that's a frustration. But I will say when we were flying, you know, we, you know, we've only lost about two games in about 12 or 13 games, by the way. What I will say is we were, we were quite constant in the team. And the periods that we've done really well, we were very constant. And we've had by our own fault. We've had people suspended, we've had people away being picked for doing well here, going to play for their country. We've had a lot of change and that's not an excuse, it's a fact. Um, and I think some things, players who've gone out on loan, come back, done really well, gone and got the fitness there, but it's a different level to hit to this. And they, they'll know that, Tommy will tell you that, Harry will tell you that, but the, I'm really pleased that a lot of the lads are all contributing. Mm. Um, and I think they're a tight group. I think they'll dust themselves down. Um, we've one more game left at the EBB. I'm sure they'll come back and, and try and put another yeah. good performance for the for the fans. Well, it would be those, fantastic. Oh, like brilliant, it. yeah. Well, one of those changes you made today, Josh Barrett getting his first goal, that's going to give him some momentum, isn't it? Yeah, I hope so. I mean, listen, Josh has worked really hard. Josh takes undue stick on occasions, I feel. Um, 
because the lad is a really talented boy. But Josh Stokes has had a fantastic yeah. season, so he's had to be patient, and he's he gets frustrated. I know that, but I think I probably know him, and I think I know how to manage him as well as anybody who has ever managed him, um, because I I don't ask him to do too many things that he's not great at. But he has to do things that he doesn't like, like every player does. You know, not some of them with lovely hair and makeup, don't like heading the ball too much, but they got to do that because that's part of the job. And Josh is no different. We treat them all the same in that respect. They know their roles. We want them to play at the best of their ability every time they walk on the pitch, but it's difficult. Some of them are up to 45, 50 games now, and they probably haven't done that. They may have done that in a team that struggled, but they haven't done it in a team that keeps winning. And I look round and I know the answer to this, but there ain't many who have gone through a whole season and been super victorious, if you like.